This is a video looking at acid carbonate reactions. So when an acid reacts with, so the plus means react, reacts with a carbonate, okay, so a metal carbonate, what you get is a salt, water, and carbon dioxide. Okay, this is the general uh, word equation for an acid and metal carbonate reaction. Here's a great way to sort of commit to memory what the products are. So there's the products here, and there's the reactants. Okay, this is something I teach my students all the time. She went crazy. Okay, S for salt, W for water, and C for carbon dioxide. So how does this um, work? How does this um, reaction type work? We can I can illustrate this with um, an example. Still an example. Let's suppose suppose I've got hydrochloric acid reacting with calcium carbonate. What would I get? Well, to name the salt. There's an approach called the crisscross method. Now, a salt typically ends in uh, chloride. Okay, so what you do is the the naming convention for this is you take the name of the metal first, okay, which is calcium, and you add see so crisscross. You add ide to this chloric, okay, to make it chloride, calcium chloride, plus water plus cal carbon dioxide. How would you do the chemical equation? So that's the word equation, the chemical equation. Hydrochloric acid is HCl. Calcium carbonate is, so calcium is Ca, 2 plus, it's got a charge of 2, it forms a charge of 2 plus, okay? It's in group 2 on the periodic table, alkaline earth metals. The carbonate polyatomic ion is CO3, 2 minus. Okay, and if you use the crisscross method, so in this case, the charges ban um, balance cancel out. So the two plus and the two minus cancel. So you just get CaCO3. Okay, and that reacts to make calcium chloride. So calcium chloride, calcium Ca2 plus chloride. Chlorine is Cl minus, okay? And crisscross method. Okay, the rule is uh, CaCl. Let's write that as the compound. Take the two down to the chlorine. And because there's nothing in front of the minus here, you don't bring it down. So that's calcium chloride plus water, H2O, plus carbon dioxide, CO2. Okay, I'm not going to balance it. I'm just going to keep it like that. Okay, so it's HCO plus CaCO3 makes CaCO2 plus H2O plus CO2. Let's do another example. Let's do nitric acid reacting with copper carbonate. Actually, let's do sodium carbonate. What would we get? Okay, she went crazy, okay? So salt, how do we get the salt? So metal goes first, sodium. Nitric becomes ide, add an ide at the end. Sodium nitride. She, that's S, went, W, that's water. Crazy, that's carbon dioxide. Okay, that's the word equation. Uh, chemical equation, nitric acid. Nitric acid is HNO3. Sodium carbonate. Now, sodium likes to form a charge of plus one. Okay, it's in group one, alkali, um, alkali metals. Carbonate, CO3, two minus. Crisscross method, so NaCO3. The two comes down to here. Okay, we don't leave, we don't bring anything down here for the sodium. That makes sodium nitride. So sodium, sodium is Na. Okay, um, NO3 minus. Okay, the nitric, um, sorry, the nitrate ion, a polyatomic ion. Now in this case, you just bring them down. Uh, sorry, in this case, you don't bring them down because it's the charges balance. So you get Na, NO3 plus water, H2O plus carbon dioxide, CO2. Okay, so that is the chemical equation for nitric acid reacting with sodium carbonate. And that's how you do it. 
acid-carbonate reactions.